hello guys welcome back actually in this video i'm going to inform you that i am preparing for the course web mapping and web js from dev to deploy 2021 geo django so it's the second version of this course introduction to web mapping and web js 2020 geo django course so stay tuned guys so i just want to inform you that i already uh, finished recording the font in part of this project so the uh, interface of the second course will be look like something like this and then uh, I am currently working on the backend part so uh, I think I'll uh, I'll add the upload data section like we can upload the uh, zip file and got file through the admin dashboard and then we can uh, publish this uh, these zip files and we can just add the control button here and then we can just show and hide these layers yeah and and i'll i'm planning to add the uh, deployment guide uh, many of uh, many people from this course uh, just ask me about the deployment process of this web mapping and web gis things like how to uh, connect the connect with server and how to deploy geo server in the uh, in the server so this kind of things i'll add in the course and here in front in part actually uh, i added some of the functionality like we can uh, just toggle between these base layers and we can just control this these simple markers and then also i added this marker cluster here and then this will uh, come up with pop-ups things and then here you you may notice that here if i move my marker around the map the coordinate will automatically appear uh, changes so uh, i added this functionality as well and i added here the map scale and then attribution of map and this one is the simply uh, zoom in zoom out button which uh, by default come with the leaflet and then i added this print functionality so we can print in different size like this map and then we can also search by location so if i type here pohara then then we can go to the pohara so, so like this and uh, if we want to go back to the our study area then we can just click home button that means zoom to layer so and the thing is i added this uh, this full preview button so it will automatically preview the map in full window and then i also added this measure functionality measure means measure distance and area if you click on two points then it will uh, give us the last point coordinate in a latitude longitude format and then also it will give the path distance in kilometer and if we added one more point that means it's kind of polygon so it will uh, give us the total path distance from here to here and then also it, it will give the area in square meter so i can just click on finish record finish measurement to finish our measurement and it will by default uh, pop up with the uh, distance and area yeah and these are the some of the functionality of web gis things so yeah i am i'm currently working on the back end part so i hope you will enjoy this course and uh, let me know how how many of you are interested in this course let me know in the comment section thank you